Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome to another episode of Padge Plays Indie Edition. And this time around, we are revisiting the magnificence that was Ludum Dare 38, and we are taking a look at Petty Puny Planet. Yes, and it is by Wales and Games. More specifically, we have York Game Death, The Mosky, and Zach Blystone, is how I, I guess you say them. All these complicated names, I'm, I'm not good, I'm not good. But anyway, yes, it was made for a Ludum Dare weekend, and, uh, well, what do you do? You're a god, as, as much like you were in Mad Gods, which we played before. But this time around, you have to make a very significant decision every 100 years. It's so significant, it takes 100 years to recover. And, for, for, I guess, for 100 years to see that decision come into fruition. So, it's a case of suck it and see, I suppose. Now, I haven't actually played through this game. Uh, I've had a few issues. I'll, I'll quickly go into what's going on in my life. Um, my grandma, my only living grandma now, uh, has broken her knee in two places. So as I'm recording this, I'm doing it two days before and my buffer from when I had a, a week off after rebuilding my computer has now disappeared. So um, the stress is on. So I was, I was, I'm looking at doing a new Let's Play series of something a little bit longer. It's like a proper Let's Play series, uh, but I needed something just to fill the buffer. So uh, th this is it. Welcome to my buffer episode. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's crack on. Let's crack on. So you're a god. You've got to make a decision every hundred years, and we will see what happens to this planet as it evolves, as it gets older, and as civilization on there becomes more sort of sophisticated, or one would like to think gets more sophisticated. I'm sure we'll see. It probably won't go that well, but hey-ho. So let's just have a quick read-through, see what it's all about as, as far as uh, Wales and Games are concerned, and then we'll crack on straight into it. So, we have a pet rock when you can... No, we'll start that again. It's not we. Why have a pet rock when you can have a pet planet? Micromanage this, this cosmic massive rock from its humble beginnings and take its people to places they never thought possible. Sure, you can teach them about food and science, but what if you take some liberties with evolution? You've got a planet and you have to decide what happens to it, but being the boss is such a tiring job, so you have to make a century-long rest after every decision. Let's hope that you can manage without... They can manage without you for that long. Every action you take can change the tiny people's destiny. And according to this, there's 10 different endings. Now, we're not going to get through all 10 different endings, but let's have one playthrough and uh, see where it takes us, shall we? So let's find a planet. White. Oh, it's blue. Oh, look, a planet with tiny people on it. Let's micromanage the stardust out of it. So we have certain photos we can take at each stage of, of the life of the planet. I don't know what this does. Let's click it. It's just the text. That's 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 fine. Let's let's close that down. Right. Okay. Well. Uh, okay. From now on, you're in charge of it. It's a tiresome job, though, so you might want to take a century-long break after taking a decision. Okay. I just hope nothing breaks down while you're gone. Well, here we go. Certain actions can bring the world to a logical conclusion. I wonder if you can find all the endings. Yeah, me too. So we can do nothing first time round. We can add riches, or we can make a moon. Well. As far as, you know, Earth is concerned, we need a moon in order to create the, the tidal flow throughout, throughout the world and therefore be able to uh, um, make weather and stuff like that without getting too sophisticated. Let's face it, you're listening to me now. We're not sophisticated. Let's make a moon, though. Let's make a moon. You made a moon! Ah! Oh, we've got an alien. What's he doing? Is he just flying bass? Yeah, he's not interested. He's not interested. 100 years later... Nothing happened in a hundred years. That's that's a good thing, surely. Yeah? I wonder what AB stands for. Oh, after planet birth. There we go. Never knew that. What the hell's this? Wealth and happiness. Okay. At least your people got to relax. Oh, there are people on there. Okay, fine. For every action, a consequence, more or less. So I can let them discover fire. I can let them be. Or we can introduce writing and etc. Uh, etc. as in pronunciation, maybe. Uh, right, so I think if, let's let's try and cover it as close to the earth as we can. So I'm pretty sure fire came before writing, to a certain degree. So let's do, discover the fire. Oh, we've got a marshmallow! Someone got burned. Anyhow, people learn to make use of fire. One hundred years later, nothing happened in hundred years. Well, I I would disagree. The earth is holding a big marshmallow. Well, not the earth. The planet is holding a big marshmallow. 
At least your people got to relax. So, what's the plan for the next century? So, we can learn cooking, writing, and etc. Or do nothing. Well, again, we've learned to burn stuff. Let's learn to cook stuff. They learn to make lots of spaghetti. Ah, oh, look at the chef's hat. 100 years later. Nothing happened in 100... It's again, I, I disagree. Oh, what, what am I supposed to be expecting to happen within 100 years? Like, fair enough. There were a few great wars in the last century that we had. But, generally, you, you think something would happen in those 100 years. You know, maybe a civilization rises and falls. You know, maybe there's a, a, a massive epidemic which wipes out half the... I suppose I'd be in charge of that, wouldn't I? Yeah, mm, okay, never mind. Let's try again. Okay, right, so. Ooh, well. We can give them evolution. What's next, oh, Captain, my Captain? Uh, evolution? So, if we, if we let, like, dinosaurs or, like, insects discover fire, because that could be pretty dangerous, I suppose. Um, let's go with evolution. Civilization has gone stale. It's time to spice things up. 100 years later. I'm going to stop doing that. Uh, <laughs> nothing happened in 100 years. Again, I would say evolution is a pretty big step. Pretty big step, but apparently not. Let's try again. Right, so we can rest, grow gills, or one, one more choice. Now that you're back, arm them with knowledge. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's do one more choice. Uh, are three choices not enough for you? Well, from now on, you get to choose from four. 100 years later. Maybe I should have chosen something a bit more applicable. Oh boy, some trees caught fire. The people had to flee in terror. Certain choices will randomly impact the world. So, we got farming. A myste Ooh, mysterious defect. That sounds interesting. Let's go mysterious defect. An unintended mutation seems to be affecting a tiny fraction of the population. I wonder if it's good or bad. I guess we'll see. 100 years later! Oh, there's a little guy flying past now. <laughs> Nothing happened in 100 years. Oh, okay, fine. Let's try again. So, certain actions, yeah, we know this. Right, what should we do? Add riches, grow gills, lycanthropy. Well, I think it's fair to say we've, we've let what I can only presume is either bacteria or insects have fire and know how to cook. So, why not werewolves? You know, logic's out the window. Let, let's go with werewolves. Let's give people fangs and fur every now and then. Yeah, I'm all for that. Brr, who turned on the freezer? Apparently there was a century-long ice age. Right. So, are those do like doggy ears? And then we've got a scarf on. Okay, okay. The tiny people stayed indoors in their warm, fire-heated homes. Good for them. We didn't kill them off. That's a win. Surely that's a win. So, what's the plan for the next century? Uh, oh, fantasy theme. Well, what's the difference between rest and do nothing? Surely they're the same things. You know, if we're going to pick things apart like that. Um, let's go with fantasy theme. We already have werewolves. Let's fill this world with mystical races, creatures and dragons. Everyone loves dragons. I'm... Yeah, okay. I'm... Yeah, fine. <laughs> hundred years later. It appears that some group of misfits, including some elf, a dwarf... And even tiny people are embarking on a quest. Some jewellery delivery thing. Here's hoping I do all right. Let's ask around some other time. Oh. So some choices. Yes. Well, so grow winds, magic, farming, or make a second moon. Well, our dwarves are on an epic quest. And hobbits and elves. So what's a fancy kingdom about magic, I suppose? Let's, let's give them magic. How about adding some wizards and spellcasters to the planet? Not a bad idea. Hmm? Well, we've got a dapper purple hat. Uh, I suppose that's that's one thing. It seems that you've got a pyromaniac in your planet. The little deviant sets some houses on fire. Little bastard. When I find it, I'm going to set him on fire myself. With my lightning finger. Hmm. The people had to flee in terror. Right, so... Uh, we could well i suppose we could do farming there's going to be a you know a, a a lack of food at some point be nice to know that they can actually look after themselves so let's give them farming some water some seeds and suddenly crops 
Hmm. And now we have a farmer's hat. I asked around about the epic jewellery delivery quest. The people are long dead, but they're still being talked about. They got into troubles, got separated. Something, something non-flying winged monster. Wizards battling, big scale war, a pair of towers. Let's check on it some other time. <laughs> okay. Right, yeah, so what are our choices this time? We can hold a festival or add riches. We have no money. I'm starting to think money's probably going to be important, or else it wouldn't be in the game. Uh, money! Money. You filled the world with riches, and the people started hoarding them. Apparently, these have been very tough times. Scarcity and lack of jobs. Everyone is having a bad time. Let's blame it on bad luck. Yes. Let's blame it on bad luck. Right. Let's uh, see. We have no happiness. So. Well. I like the endless misery <laughs> section. That seems like kicking the plant whilst it's down. I don't I don't know if that'd be a good thing. That could be a good way to end this video early. So let's hold a festival. It's it's June. You know, it's festival season. Yeah, it's festival season. Let's let's do it. Let's hold a festival. People from all over the world are gathering to have a good time. Oh, okay. Some people mutated into monsters. The horror. But people are happy from it. That's good. That's good. They rampage through the towns until they got bored. The people are scared now. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, we have no money. We have no money. Let's... Uh, money didn't work out. We, we, we gave the people money. They squandered it. They blew it. And now we're worse off for it. So let's grow wings, I guess. People want to fly, but they don't like waiting in airplanes. All for that. Decisions, decisions. Uh, let's give them wings. Now, where are my wings? Oh boy, some trees caught fire. The people had to flee in terror. Keeping your people happy will eventually make them wealthy. Plan accordingly. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, right. So we, um, should we write? If people write, they they can make books and newspapers and, well, no, that's, that's bad. That'll make people more miserable. But even so, let's do writing. The people can now preserve knowledge for future generations. A hundred years of nothing. Oh, well, that's good. We've, we, it's been quiet. That's that's nice. Why do we even bother? Keeping your people happy. Okay, so do we want gills? We've got wings. I, I don't want. I don't ever want to go that far. Festival didn't do much. Uh, we have manga. So really, we, we can only choose between growing gills and manga. But if we've got wings, there's no point in having gills because the wings are going to be, well, not very aerodynamic, shall we say, or... Aquadynamic, I suppose, if you're in the water. So let's uh, let's go to manga. Let's go to manga. Books have way too many words. Let's add magical schoolgirls and super-powered beat-up dudes to them. Yes, I'm all for that. Magical schoolgirls. <laughs> magical schoolgirls. Some people mutated into monsters. The horror. This is. I'm guessing this is the werewolf thing kicking us in the ass. Still, they rampage through the towns until they got bored. The people are scared now. Oh, we're very bad on, on uh, money. Uh, science, evolution, dumb labour. What do the tiny people need this time? They need monies, so let's add riches. You filled the world of riches and the people started hoarding them. So we sort of... Oh! A meteorite crashed on your planet. It looks like a really big spot. It crushed a town. Hey, say la vie. Say la vie. What do we need now? Um... It keeps pushing this gill thing. Should we just go for gill? I'm not I'm not happy to do endless misery straight away still. So grow gills, I guess, would be the next one. Wonder if these people would enjoy breathing underwater. Let's find out. It looks like I've been slashed twice. Yeah. Some people mutated into monsters. The horror that's the last time I do werewolves. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea at the time, you know, the whole look the can't even say word. Werewolfhood. That's what we're going to call it, werewolfhood. It seemed like a good idea at the time. You know, American Werewolf in London. To a lesser extent, Teen Wolf. But it's just gone all a bit, it's all gone a bit, you know, sort of the Howling 2. Maybe even the Howling 3. The Howling 2 wasn't as bad as the Howling 3. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Uh, so we've lost all our money. People are upset. It's not looking good. What do we have left? Endless misery. That's all we have left. May the RNG be ever in your favour. 
I'm with you on that one. The whole planet looks very gloom. Everyone seems so sad. What a downer. Let's search for one with less frowns. Oh. So I've, I've turned my planet into an emo and killed it? I have. <laughs> Nobody likes the party pooper. Try to keep that, the morale high the next time around. Oh, we got the misery ending. <laughs> well, that seems about right. That seems about right. As I, I've known for a very long time, emo will be the death of the, any planet, not just ours. Not just ours. No one needs to be sad on purpose, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, yeah, well, it's the death of my planet. So that's it. Reject emo music. I think I think that's what we can take out of this. There's there's lots of other stuff. Hell, I'd even take poker over that. Or was it polka? So I think it said polka, not poker. Polka, polka, polka. So let's uh, let's call it quits there. So as I said, there are ten different endings to this game, this little tiddly game. The game is also free, so there will be a link down below if you want to download it yourself. It's another little time killer, as, as you saw. It took, what, about 15 minutes to get through, and that was me going through each one and saying everything. So you probably burned through it about 10 minutes ago. So you'll be able to find most endings, I think, within, you know, a, a couple of hours, if it's your thing, if it's your thing. As I said, I think it's the type of game which you pick up and play when you haven't got long, but you want to fill the time. So... Thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.